Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to do a what's in my pencil case video. Well, it's not really a pencil case, it's more of a big pouch. And I recently went to a Amy, San Amy Tangerine Sakura Lala event and I had to bring some planner supplies with me. And so I thought I would share with you what I took with me. They gave us a list of uh, things to bring and so I pretty much followed that. This is a Delphonics utility pouch and it has a lot of nice big compartments. Uh, there's compartments for pencils and things. Uh, and there's some pockets. There's a large pocket in the back here. You can see there's nice compartments. And I had some things like stuffed in here, but I decided to take it out and just bring the essentials with me. So I guess this is more like an essential, what's in my essen essentials bag or planner bag. So let's get right into it. On a side note, I filmed a, uh, finally filmed a video about this 10th edition Traveler's Notebook setup video. And uh, so there that there it is there. Sorry, <laughs> that's a little off topic. Okay, so here are some of the items. I've decided to kind of uh, group them into sections. So in here is a really small cutter. It's from Daiso. Uh, it came in like a two pack, and I use this to cut um, pieces of paper and things. I really wanted to keep it minimal. This is a stencil and I just, I don't use the opposite side that it comes with. There we go, that's the proper way. <laughs> so I brought this with me. In that same pocket I also included the stickers from Tim Holtz, these label letters. I absolutely love this one. And then in that pocket, I think it's empty, and I just have a couple of clips clipped. And I use these usually to hold my planner pages together, or uh, planner pages open. So let's start with this one. This is, I guess, like the essentials, the writing essentials. This is really old. I got this in a pack of three, I think, from either the Bay or Winners. I think it's, is it still called Winners? Or is it called? I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry. So here I have a couple of water brushes. This is the fine tip, I believe, and this is the medium one. They're both different brands. I don't have a preference. I like them both. I just find that I can't find the perfect one. Uh, I feel like they're either too wet or it releases too little. Uh, this one I like the fine tip, but at, at some times at points I find that the water is it's like not enough it gets a little too dry too quickly so I brought two brush pens, uh, brush lettering water brushes oh my goodness sorry I brought this small stapler this is actually my husband's this is from I think Muji I purchased this Daiso one because it's a lot smaller but actually this one is lighter it's almost the same weight, but I find that this is slightly lighter and I really wanted to keep the load light, so I brought this one instead. And some of the pens. The Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in Warm Grey. This is from Maria Palis Blue. I like that for like shadowing and things like that. A couple of Microns. I'm going to take all the marker ones out. And that's it for the markers. I have the 005, really fine tip one. The 03, which is broader. This is in the middle, this is 01. This is the uni pin. I have this uni style fit that I received from a special friend Natasha. 
actually has my name engraved in it. Uh, but it has the basic mechanical pencil, black ink, and some purple. I like uni stuff uh, more than Coletto, but the Coletto barrels are so cute. <laughs> this is just a gel pen. It's called Moonlight, Sakura Moonlight. And uh, it's like a neon pink. I, if I wanted to just add a bit of color or highlight, I thought I would bring that. My trusty <laughs> Uniball Signal in 028. It's almost finished, I think. The ink is on the low. I need to get another one. This I really enjoy for brush uh, lettering. It is from Daiso. Hopefully it focuses. This one is from Daiso. It's a little on the dry side if you push too hard too quick. Uh, but the brush is very, very soft, so I kind of like, sometimes I want that rough brushed look. I, I go for this pen. A nice and thin eraser. I don't know where I got this from. I think this might have been from my husband. Uh, he got me some stationary goodies a while back, so there's that really nice and thin. So compact. A craft knife, just from Daiso. I didn't end up using it. Some lead refills <laughs> in 03. And finally is this Uniball Signal in the white. I just have the a thin washi tape roll in there that we got at the event. Next, maybe I will go through the other pouches here. This pouch is more for like glue and adhesives. So I brought a tape runner. I don't have a preference when it comes to tape runners. I usually just get whatever's on sale. Uh, this one is okay, I don't mind it. And glue stick, I believe, somewhere here. This is from Daiso. It comes in a pack of three, works fine. And. <laughs> They asked us to bring glue dots and we don't, well it's hard for us to find glue dots here unless you purchase them online. So I emailed Sakura Lala about it and she t told me that there's like these foam adhesives from Daiso so I just made my own booklet like that. Didn't, I didn't end up use, using it unfortunately. I used it after when I came home from the event I tried to finish some of my projects that we started and I used it after so I guess it did come in handy. This pocket has uh, the watercolor. This is from Maria Palis Blue. I love this so much. Looks like that. These are the colors. I also have this Peerless watercolor set that I purchased online from Etsy. I didn't end up using it. I didn't end up using the watercolors. Oh, I forgot. I had the distress stains in here too, but I think I took them out when I got home. Yeah. I have a... I think this is an A6 folder full of some pictures they told us to bring us... They told us to bring some photos, so I brought some pictures. So I stuck them in there. And this is my final pouch. There's just some washi tape that we received at the event. These thin ones uh, sitting up at the bottom here. I brought a spare blade for my cutter, paper cutter uh, trimmer thing. I bought the Saramame inks that you, I don't know if I posted the video up yet, but the, from the holiday planning, these are perfect size. They just kind of fit on your finger. I saw them first from Ohai Joy's video, awesome video by the way, and she just, they're just so compact and uh, perfect size. I didn't have to bring, uh, I brought the black one here. I didn't end up using the chalk ink though. Small scissors. This is the stamping, it's, it's kind of like an acrylic block to use for stamping. Versa Magic Chalk Ink. I ended up using the archival ink, the black one here. 
I need to get like a smaller version. I don't know if there is one, but... And another <laughs> acrylic block. They had a small acrylic block on uh, at the store, at the pop-up shop, and I was going to get it, but it's like a cube and it's so hard to transport around. Um, but maybe I'll ask my sister to send me a small one. And these are similar to the Peerless. These are just some watercolor sheets I didn't end up using. I ended up using uh, some of the Distress Stains for my spreads. But I think that's it for my pouch. I don't think there's anything left. I believe I took everything up from the front. Uh, like I said, there's some washi tape on the bottom. Oh, oh no, that's that. Oops. Oh yes, and some mints. <laughs> we had uh, nikumang, which are, I don't know, uh, meat, meat dumplings, like a huge meat dumpling. I don't know how to explain it, but we had nikumang for lunch. Uh, so I'm glad that I had my mints. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Do you have a planner essentials? Uh, things that you must have in your planner pouch or your pencil case? I would love to hear them in the comments below. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.